As we hit mid-September, time for an update from the City of Plymouth. The Mayor with us, Kelly Slavic. Welcome again, Mayor. Thank you. Let's talk about September 23rd first. It's a big day in the City of Plymouth. We have lots of annual events that happen that day. Let's start with the run in the morning. People can get out and get some exercise, courtesy of the firefighters. Tell us about that event bright and early. Sure. 9 a.m. Uh, we are doing a 5K at Fire Station Number 2, which is 12,000 Rockford Road. And it's a great event. Uh, it's $25. You can pre-register at active.com or you can pick up a form at the city and register through the mail. You can also register on the day of the event and the registration will get you a free long sleeve t-shirt. And after the run that's at 9 a.m. for the 5k then at 10 a.m. the kids are the shining stars, right? That's right. From At 10 a.m. they can do either a half mile or a mile run and it's just a fun way to get the kids out and active and involved. And as we mentioned the firefighters are very involved in this event so they'll have some educational materials at the fire station but also you might see a firefighter running what's this all about and what do they wear sure well it's a I think a friendly competition okay. among firefighters and they wear their full turnout gear which is very heavy and the big clunky boots I don't know how they do that but it's really fun to see them and it, I think it's kind of a point of pride that they can run a 5K exactly. in that equipment. Don't try that at home, but it's a fun <laughs> event to see. Let's move on later that morning then. Plymouth on Parade happens over by the Government Center area, Lifetime Fitness and the Ice Center. Tell us about that event and a new time this year. Sure, we're, we've moved it up a little bit. It's at 1030, so as soon as you're done running, you can head over to the okay. parade. And it's, a, it's a right on Plymouth Boulevard in front of City Hall, and we're going to have lots of great units. The Armstrong and Wyzetta High School Marching Bands will be, be there. The Minnesota Vikings school line will be there. We're going to have various other entertainment and businesses there. It's really a fun family event. All right, and once the parade is done, don't leave. Don't pack up quickly. There's a lot other things going on at the buildings right behind it. Tell us about Lifetime and the Ice Center that day. Sure. From 12 to 2, Lifetime Fitness will be open for anyone to use free of charge. They'll be open swimming, the gym will be open, and then they can go to the ice center and there's free ice skating. Also, outside at the Hildy, we're going to have a lot of entertainment. Great. It's all free. There'll be face painting, there'll be live music, there'll be inflatables for the kids to play on. The only thing that has a cost associated with it is the food truck. So if you're hungry, bring some money for some food trucks. All right, get up early on the 23rd and spend the full day in Plymouth. Final point we want to make is online bill pay. It's something rather new to the city of Plymouth. Tell us a little bit about why we have online bill pay pay and how people can get involved in that. Sure, we're just trying to streamline the process, make it easier for people. You can pay your utility bills online now through our payment processor that the city is working with and it's free. All you have to do is go to our website and sign up and you can um, schedule regular payments, you can look at the history of your account, you can print receipts, very simple and easy to use and we just ask that if people sign up that they opt out of receiving their mailed copy of their bill just to kind of save on some paper. All right, easy as that. On online bill pay city of Plymouth go to the website to find out more mayor thanks for your time thank Talk you very to you again much soon. thank you